As a CASA youth in this situation, it's usually not always a pretty picture. But whatever's going on in our life, most of us just need somebody to care and somebody to come along and just truly advocate for our interest and listen to our voice. That simple advocation can truly change a kid's life and turn them around and make a better person. I've been volunteering for almost three years. The first month's pretty intense. You don't know the kids, you don't know the case, you don't know the mom, you don't know the parents, you don't know the caseworker. I spent my first month getting to know what I call all the players. I make it clear when I first meet them that I am a volunteer. I am not with the Department of Child Services. I am not with law enforcement. I'm not with anybody. I'm independent. And I do this because I want to help. I am not paid for this. Gaining a relationship with these children, um, a lot of times that's what they're looking for, is just someone that they can vent to, someone that they can talk to, because this is a frustrating situation that they're going through. And for you to come um, every month, or, you know, and, or call and just to check up on them, it's rewarding to me to see their faces and just to hear their voices, um, because they're not used to people doing that. I think for me was able to talk to some of these kids and say you can get through this I promise you can and you know if nobody else you feel like in your family cares at least I care. The other volunteer work I do you know if I can't show up someone else will take my place. When I'm a CASA nobody can fill in for me and I'm the one the child knows and the parents from the beginning of the case to the end. You know, the case managers may change, a service provider may change, but I'm the consistent person, so I am going to be there. When we'd go into court, your parents have a representative, your caseworker has a representative with the state. It had been just kind of everyone else's opinion being voiced, and I was just there. After getting involved with CASA, the first court meeting that we went into, finally my voice was being heard. There was someone who was really advocating and very adamant about what was important to me. They have meetings about you that you're not a part of. Me and Rebecca had built so much trust that I got to a point that I felt comfortable with that because I knew that she would be there and that she would be able to say how I felt and also how she felt. CASA volunteers are so important because there are so many children out there that, and they're the innocent party, that don't have a voice. Without an adult that feels a responsibility to step up and be that voice, then there is every possibility that that child is going to fall through the cracks. You really want to try to make somebody's life better. Everything else can be taught, you know, but having the heart to care, having the heart to be able to set aside yourself for someone else's benefit, that is what it takes. If you care about your town, you care about your family, and you care about their well-being, you could be a CASA. If you, you just feel like you're an ordinary person, ordinary people can do extraordinary things in the lives of others. And a CASA is a person who's just an ordinary person who does extraordinary things for others. That's what it takes. And anybody can do it as long as you've got the right heart and you care. Okay.